Say you want to add Jump A directly here into your actual Shopify. I'm going to show you how to get started in a very easy way. The very first thing you want to do is to of course go directly into Shopify. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. So once we are here directly here inside the actual Shopify, what you want to do is to locate the settings. Into the left pod, let's go for settings and it's going to be prompted to this new section. Now here let's go here into the left pod and locate the actual element that says payment. So once you are into the dashboard and navigating to the settings and locating the payment provider, let's set up the Shopify payments. So to use the shop pay, you need to be using Shopify payments as the shop pay is integrated with it. If you haven't already set it up the Shopify payments, you'll need to do this now. So click into complete now setup on your Shopify payments and fill the required details to get started. If you don't see that information directly here into payments, that might be because your actual country is not enabled for the Shopify payments. So if I open any tab and I go for Shopify payment uh, country eligibility, it's going to be showing me an actual block of all the supported countries that only enable the Shopify payments uh, so far directly into Shopify payments. As you can see, we have Australia, Belgium, Canada, Finland, France, Germany, and much more elements. So as you can see, the actual list is a little bit limited, but they're constantly making this relevant and of course updating all the information as they're just getting started with. So usually here, if the Shopify payments is not available into your country, what you can do is to change the actual country for an actual provider that was created for you. For example, here I go for the actual store to details, I go for the billing information, and instead of Mexico, I go for United States. Automatically, it's gonna be choosing an actual uh, random uh, specific country. Now I can go back into payments and we can see that we have now the Shopify payments enabled. So with the Shopify payments, we're now going to be able to have competitive credit cards to better check out composites, easy chargeback management, and payouts and cash flow tracking. So I'm going to go for activate the Shopify payments. Here, what you need to do in order to add the shop pay, of course, is to provide all the information about your store and yourself. So choose the business type. You need to provide some information of the business, for example, if you're an individual, a corporation, LC partnership, or a non-profit. So choose your employee identification number, the street address, the city, the state, your first, your last name, your date of birth, your social security number, and the business category. And of course, if there is an statement descriptor, for example, in this case, my actual store is called Flame. So it's gonna be appearing here like SP Flame, which I think is actually looking really great. Lastly, hit into submit to verification so you can just go directly into the terms and conditions and to get paid for your sales after you have provided the information of your business and the ownership, everything is going to be set up correctly. So once you are inside the Shopify payments, you're not going to be able to add an actual credit debit card or a banked account in order to receive your money. And then what you wanted to do is to just enable this directly into the Shopify. So you're actually good to go. But I'm going to be showing you an actual new payment stuff just in case the Shopify is not enabled into your store. So let's go back into store details, billing information, and let's change with the third party payment provider. So here into the third party provider, what I'm going to be doing here is just to choose this element, this burger, and here just select the element that you wanted to receive directly here into your store. For example, let's say that you wanted to enable shop pay. And here into shop pay, it's going to be showing you uh, all the actual third party providers that you can choose in order to receive the money. For example, the pay by pay flow, there is the top payment, there is the went cave, there is ePay, there is so much more elements that you can enable. So choose the option that best suits for you and go for installation of the provider that you chose. Depending on the provider that you chose, it's going to be asking you to create an account to make the statement of your, let's say for your business account information, create your account for the third party provider in order to activate your account, adding funds of course, and you might be able to receive money here into Shopify and the Shopify of course, using the third party, the third party provider that was generated for you guys. So that's it guys, you have successfully added the Shopify to your Shopify store. So by enabling the shop here, you're offering a seamless and secure checkout experience. So likely boosting customer satisfaction and return rates. If you find this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify insights and tips. 
Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, with all that being said, we can see you through a brand new section of Touchpress. See you next time.